Tom and Stone Brew coming at you with a beer review. Today we're in the garage. I've cleaned a couple kegs. I've got a beer brewing over here in the uh, fermentation chamber and the beer I've got today is from Alaskan Brewery. I've been doing all these cellar beers. I needed something different. I needed an IPA. This is from Alaskan Brewery. As I said, it is the Imperial Rye. It's part of the pilot series and it's an imperial IP of course made with rye but they also used pale malt and Bryce victory malts and the uh, hops in this in the boil anyway were Apollo nugget and summit and then the uh, they dry hopped it with mosaic Amarillo and Calypso hops it's an 8.5 percent ABV beer 70 IBUs and I can't wait to get it cracked open I, I only poured semi-aggressive and look at that big three almost four finger head that's just a massive head it's really a, a nice amber color it has a light bit of red hue to it I would say um, a medium amber but but very clear I can see the bubbles just rising up I don't know if you can see it from your angle uh, pretty beer let's get a nose on it hard to get the nose through this giant head but boy right away I picked up on some spiciness and kind of like a toasted caramel you know not a lot nice toasty aroma oh, and I got some orange I got some orange rind and I got some orange marmalade off of that Wow I got some pine and some resin there's there's a lot of hops in this nice floral scents some tangerine on there Oh man, there's a lot of tropical. I almost felt like I got a, a hint of melon and pineapple in it. Oh, just some nice sweetness, a little bit of honey on there. There's just a lot going on. I don't get specifically the rye, but I think that's part of that spiciness that I get out that. That would be the rye in there. It's almost like a hint of like a, like a red uh, ale, just a splash of that. And again, I'd say that's more coming from the spiciness and the rye. So we're going to jump in. Cheers. Wow. Well, that is definitely an Imperial IPA, let me tell you. <laughs> but you do get the rye in this. You, it's not like a real big kick of rye, but it's in there. It's in those flavors of the malt. Um, just that spiciness to it, which is nice. And it's really sweet because it, well, it's really sweet. And it dries off on the back side. Um, and I, I do like that bit of sweetness, uh, but wow, it dries off, just leaves your palate ready to drink some more. It's wonderful. Man, just like in the nose, I get some toasted malt type of a taste in there, and I get a little bit of a caramel type taste, which is interesting. I imagine most of that's probably really coming off of the, um, the victory malt. Um, in combination with a rye. It's it's a really interesting base. It's a nice base, but it's quite different. On the back side, you get like a, a little bit of an herbal flavor. Um, and then more of the rye. I do get the rye kicking in. With that spiciness. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can really feel it back of the throat. It's amazing how much sweetness there is on this beer. It's just really fruity. There's just there's a lot of complexity. There's a lot going on in this beer. You get the herbs. You get that bit of melon. You get a hint of some stone fruit on there. You get kind of a orange with the bitterness that comes from this because there's a bit of bitterness. You get almost like an orange marmalade type of a flavor. And you can see I'm suffering because it's you know not going down very quickly. All right, my senses are being overwhelmed with this. I'm going to take a little time and I'll be back. Well, this is one different little beer. This is, it's got that beautiful sweetness, which is so interesting with so much sweetness just coming off the fact, I mean, it's, you've got pale malts and then you got rye and then you got the victory in there. Um, and it's a very unique sweetness. That rye kick in there is fun. It just really changes things up. And then with the six different hops, some light pine and, and, and resin and these various fruits from hints of stone fruits to, to citrus to, 
you know, tropical type flavors. It's just, it's just fun. I'm digging on it. It's a really good beer, I think. So how am I going to rate this? It's an Imperial IPA. I, I think I've got to rate it pretty high. I don't think it's world class, but it is an excellent beer for sure. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going, for me, I'm going 93. I'm just really digging on it. Overall, uh, overall, I'm not going to rate it quite as high. I know there are some others that I like better, but it's really fabulous. I think it, that it's got to stay in that excellent category overall. I'm giving it a 90. Well, here it is. I think it's a fun beer. I think it's worth giving a try. It's from Alaskan Brewing out of Juneau, Alaska. It is the Imperial Rye from the Pilot Series. This is Kevin from Clement's Own Brew saying, Life's too short to drink cheap beer. And I'll see you in the next beer review.